morning everyone and welcome to Disney Springs. Today is going to be a magical day. We're going to walk around. We're going to see all of Disney Springs. A full tour of Disney Springs. Things that are new, things that are updated, things that maybe you've never seen before. It's going to be a super exciting day. Mask off at the moment because of coffee, but I will be putting it back on again momentarily as we make our way all around and see everything. Let's do it. Let's start the tour off with a new slogan for Disney Springs. Happily, whatever you're after. I love that slogan. You got shopping, dining, everything you can imagine. Let's start the tour from this side over here. Let's start the tour right here on this bridge at Disney Springs. The reason I'm starting it here is because we've got a few landmarks I want to point out to you just to help you get situated. Rainforest Cafe is a large volcano that you can find right behind me over there. Very easy to spot as you make your way around. You've got World of Disney. We're going to make our way over there in a minute. Just want to get situated first. You've got the mountains of T-Rex right over there. Planet Hollywood, the large dome right back there. Paddlefish and then all the way back there, Cirque du Soleil right back there, that large white building, really high. That's kind of the way we're gonna think about it for now. Of course, you've got the uh, characters in Flight Balloon right there as well, just once you get situated, Saratoga Springs right there. Let's make our way around. You can kind of see a little bit on the map where we're gonna go, how we're gonna do it. Let's get started. One more look to get situated. Paddlefish, Planet Hollywood, T-Rex, World of Disney, Lego store over there. We're turning all the way around. Let's start it off right here at the Rainforest Cafe. The Rainforest Cafe is right here at Disney Springs, a great one. And they've got a bar as well called the Lava Lounge right underneath available as well. Across the way from the Rainforest Cafe, you can find Goofy's Candy Company. And then as we turn just a little bit, small kiosk right there for Disney Springs and the Artso Crepe Stand right here on the entranceway to the bridge. The volcano lights once every 20, 30 minutes or so, something along those lines. I think it's every 30 minutes, but and maybe it's every 20, something like that. You can actually see the fire from the volcano. It's awesome. Goofy's Candy Company has all sorts of great treats, sweet treats and uh, they have some samples sometimes throughout the day. As we continue walking this way, you can see Days of Christmas right here, this Disney store, and the former main entrance of Disney Springs, where you can find the art of Disney. And this is actually where you create your own shirt or hat customized just for you. Now, if you're looking for a really cool photo background, here's a great one with Anna and Elsa. It's right next to the Days of Christmas store. So you enter or kind of make your way over here to Saratoga Springs is that way. And you can find this background right over there. And there's the art of Disney across the way. Here's the wonderful world of memories where you can get all of those items customized with your name on it. It's right next to the art of Disney right there. Wonderful world of memories keeps going around. And since this is a full tour, I do want to show you where the restrooms are as well, just so you have that reference point. Rainforest Cafe over there, another view. Here's the art of Disney and memories right there. Days of Christmas. And then here is the statues right here where you can take your picture with these characters. They're here all year round. So you can take that Christmas photo any time of year. Now let's make our way back past the Christmas store and this time turn left. Here we are turning left past the days of Christmas and we can see a lot of stores in this direction. Right next to Goofy's Candy Company, you can find the art corner right over there. A lot of artwork in there and next to it, you can find the Star Wars trading post with a lot of great Star Wars merchandise. Across the way from it, you can find the carousel right here and then all the way to the left, you can find the Wolfgang Puck Express right over there. Across the way from the carousel, you can find the Spice and Tea Exchange. I do not think I've ever been in here. This is another store at Disney Springs. It's located right next to Earl of Sandwich. Now to get you situated, Earl of Sandwich is right here. There's the Spice and Tea Exchange and there is the carousel turning all the way around Star Wars Trading Post again. And then we have the lefties left hand store, a little kiosk right there. Next to that, we've got the Pin Trading Depot right here at Disney Springs, a great spot for pin trading. We're gonna walk just beyond the lefties left handed store here and make our way back towards the water. I wanna show you just a, another side of Disney Springs here. As we make our way to the back side of the stores here, you can see the happy hound kiosk right here and there's some areas for sitting right behind all this right here these areas for kind of sitting down relaxing and if we go far enough you can see there it is the volcano right there of rainforest cafe and paddlefish and that bridge again so just to get you oriented now we're going to keep turning around here and make our way back there's the pin trading depot again but we've got to find some more shops in that direction here's the pin trading depot right there there's earl of sandwich you can find this uh, tinker toy statue right there little uh, refreshment area right here where they sell those small items now across the way there there's earl of sandwich again the tinker toy i can't show you any security checkpoints that's why we're over here we kind of transferred over and you can see the void right here that vr experience so cool i 
I loved, loved this experience right here. So much fun, I recommend the Star Wars one. There's the Void VR experience, so cool. And then next to it right here, here's the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique where you can go in and you can get a makeover and you can turn into a princess right there. Very popular. Now there's that Tinker Toy statue again, Earl of Sandwich, the Pin Trading Depot. And then we have right over here, because the Void is actually in that direction. Again, I can't video any security checkpoints, but this is a store right here called Once Upon a Toy. It's great for those toys that you're looking for. A lot of fun. You can see Mr. Potato Head and Buzz Lightyear outside in front. Start right there. Not open at the moment, but let me tell you, a lot of great plushes and toys right in there. Across the way, we've got a store called Trendy Restrooms right over there. And then there's a small train. Little ones can ride here as well. There's the train right there. Star Wars Trading Post right over there. Right over there is a store called Dockside Margarita's little restaurant bar area. Trendy right over here again. And then there's Disney Vacation Club kiosk right next to it. Dockside Margarita's got all that outdoor seating right there. And Trendy is actually connected to the Marketplace Co-op right here. Another Disney store. We've got a lot of great merchandise. Not just, you know, the standard merchandise, special stuff like Disney Tales, Wonderground Gallery, and even D-Tech where you can customize your cell phone. There's the co-op right there. And next to it, we've got the PhotoPass Photo Gallery over there. I'll show you in a moment. Giradelli, and then right here, the Marketplace Snacks where you can find the Dole Whip and Dole Whip nachos. Here's one I'm looking forward to trying. There's that PhotoPass studio right there. It's actually connected to the Marketplace Co-op, so you can actually walk to it or through this door. Giradelli have some amazing sundaes and ice creams right there. Next to it, you'll find World of Disney, the largest Disney store ever, right there with Stitch up front. Careful, he spits. And then you got the Disney Rewards Visa Card kiosk right here next to Dockside Margarita. So you see we've made a full loop here. Let's keep going. Got a refreshment station right here and some outdoor seating with the bridge in the distance, Saratoga Springs out there, the volcano and the fountains right here. There's the other side of Giradelli right here. Gotta love it, kind of tucked behind it. You've got the Arebus Brothers, great for glass, hand cut glass, and they can even customize your mug, super cool. And then next to it, you've got basin, all sorts of soaps and different testers you can try. And then you've got food trucks right here. Look at this. Now I looped around a little bit, just again, security checkpoint that way, I can't show it to you. Here's this fountain. Right here, this is the Mickey Fountain, fantastic. Again, we're on the other side of Basin, Giradelli, World of Disney, right over there, and the food truck. Walking around the Cantina Barbacoa, right here, we're getting to World of Disney. Now inside, you can find all sorts of great Disney gifts from every part of Disney. Not just Disney Springs, but you know, all over Walt Disney World, you can find gifts in their stitch with a puddle of water right there. He's, uh, he's fun, especially on hot days. Now, looping back around, Giradelli right there. Then we've got Sunshine Churros right over here. So kind of the uh, Rainforest Cafe right over there. Sunshine Churros, pin collection pennies, excuse me, penny collection right there, collectible pennies there. And then a stage right here where they have performances throughout the year. Here's the stage again. Turning next to it, you've got Wetzel's Pretzels, Joffrey's Smoothies right there. Next to it, see the small kiosks. More World of Disney. Look how big the store is. World of Disney, huge. Starbucks right there. And then more World of Disney. Small kiosk right there for a refreshment. Walking beyond the Starbucks and World of Disney, you can find the Lego store. Very, very nice right there. They've got different figures outside of it. Now, this is where things can get confusing because you can turn that way or you can turn this way. We're going to go this way at the moment, but we will loop back Back around, I promise. So don't get confused. Just want to make sure you're oriented here. There's that dragon. Been here since I was a kid and love it. There's World of Disney right over there. Rainforest Cafe. And then here we are at the other side of the bridge. This is BB Wolf. They've got some delicious hot dogs. Try the chili. So, so good. And then the bridge continues on this way with two small kiosks right here. There's one enough for flowers. A really nice one. And I think uh, there's another one maybe worth Florida signage, I believe. Now, as we turn from these two kiosks here, you can see more of Disney Springs continues to expand in front of us. Hard to imagine, I know. We'll get there in a moment. We will. This is Paddlefish, kind of restaurant on the water. We'll go back to it again in the future. Now, don't be confused. I know you could turn that way and it's a totally different direction, but we're going this way at the moment and we're going to loop back around. Now, if you get confused at Disney Springs, you can find these large billboards all around, which actually tell you where you are. And we're actually right next to T-Rex. This is a fantastic restaurant right here. Try the ribs. So, so good. Great for the whole family. And you can even uh, build your own dinosaur. Let's make our way across this bridge now. You can see paddlefish on our right. Now, as you walk along Disney Springs, you can find a lot of these spring water areas. See how the water flows underneath the bridge here? So, so nice. To our right, you can find Loyal Royally Yours by Rebus Brothers. Small uh, sculptures right there. Super nice. Another view of paddlefish. And then we have the uh, this area where they actually have those spinners 
right here, the wind wind spinners. That's what they are, eye catchers. Little kiosk right there. In front of Paddlefish, you can find the Love Pop kiosk right there with all sorts of different cards. Really cool ones. You can actually see a few from them there. There's a Mandalorian and Baby Yoda one. Right there, you see that? Spinning back around here, there's T-Rex again. Here's a kiosk that's not in use at the moment, likely will be soon. Small fountain right there with horses. Nice one. Another one of these uh, small refreshment stands over here. To our right, another kiosk over there. Used to be used for Disney Plus, but not in use at the moment. And then we've got an Italian restaurant in front of us. Terralina has these two separate sections. See kind of the circular building right there and this larger building. They're all the same. It's all the same building, but I always like the design of it. Turning left from here, you can find that orange bird sign with the bricks that a lot of us love, but I'm gonna turn a little bit more here and see swings and things. <laughs> Tough to say, it's the hammock store, a little kiosk right there. You can go two directions again, that way, or this way. Let's go this way at the moment. I know, tough to keep track. We're getting a few full view of all of Disney Springs. First spot we come to is Cooks of Dublin, and they've got a really good fish and chips here. I like the one at Epcot a little bit better. I do, but it's not bad. Next to Cooks of Dublin, you've got Raglan Road, and between the two, you've got the Hole in the Wall Bar right there, a really popular one actually, and Raglan Road right next to it. It's been so long, I don't remember the last time I was at Raglan Road, so we'll definitely have to go back and you can see the live music sign up above, a little gift store right there. Here's the walkway we just took, there's Raglan Road right again, and then we're gonna actually head in this direction. There's several directions you can go at this point, but we're gonna go in this direction. Next to Raglan Road right there, you can see a little bar right on this side as well, and then we're gonna turn this way and you can find Wine Bar George. Across the way, right over here, you can find Morimoto Asia. Next Next to Morimoto Asia, you can find the Rustic Cuff right over here, another store right there. Here we are at Wine Bar George, and we're kind of looping around just a little bit, and across the way, you can find Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. We're making our way kind of between the two, right here to the boathouse. Right next to the boathouse, you've got an outdoor seating area right there. Sometimes there are performances here. You can see there's like a small stage over there. The boathouse right in front of us. We'll get another look in a moment. And then next to it, it's Vivolia Gelato right there. Super, super nice. And then right next to it, you've got Joffrey's Coffee. This this is Vivo, this is the gelato, and this is Joffrey's Coffee. Turning a little bit here, here's that boathouse. You've got the uh, boutique right there, which is the gift store for it. Boathouse restaurant right there. And these boats right here, where you can actually take them into the water. Well, the guide takes you, but still a cool adventure. Here's another look at the boathouse and the Amphibicar launch right there. There's Joffrey's Coffee. It's coffee. Turning around here, there's Chapel Hats right here. You've got the uh, Javianas uh, sandals right there. And then just beyond it, you've got a small bakery over here. I know they're tough to find. They're like hidden away in here. Things that you've never been to before, never even heard of before tucked in here. So there's Bakery, New York City, and then straight ahead of us again is Swinging Things, meaning that Paddlefish is on our left, and it is. So we've circled all the way around. Now let's see that other part that we missed earlier. Now we've walked past Paddlefish, right behind us to our left, there's T-Rex in front of us, Lego store over there. And instead of turning this way, which is where we went before, we're turning this way. Here's T-Rex, and then right next to it, you've got, I believe it's called Uniqlo, right there. See, so there's a nice clothing store right there, and then there is the Lego store right over there. One more look to get situated. There's the Rainforest Cafe Lego store right over here, and here we are, right next to Uniqlo, this very large clothing store right here. We're gonna make our way back just a little bit left just to show you what we missed, and then we're gonna go in that direction. As we make our way back toward World of Disney, you can see it's another side of World of Disney, large fountain over here, the Daily Poutine right here, delicious, love it. And then turning around, right over here, we have Emirates next to World of Disney in a restroom right there for reference. Here's another look, the Daily Poutine fountain right there, Uniqlo right there, and here we are at Emirates. And now we're gonna make our way in this direction. So World of Disney is behind me right over there. We're gonna make our way over here. Now in front of the Daily Poutine, we've got this gelato right here. It's actually on a little bicycle. See, it's covered at the moment, but right in front of Uniqlo, a little gelato stand. There's another look at World of Disney, Emirates right there, and restroom, Levi's right here, Volcom, Harley Davidson, and Polite Pig all right here. Again, this is uh, Uniqlo. So see where we're walking down here? Towards Polite Pig, it always smells so good as we walk past. Now, if you're looking for where you parked, all you have to remember is which garage it was. This is the entrance to the Lime Garage in that direction. Oh my gosh, smells so good. Polite Pig, oh, smells so, so good. Next to it, you got Ron John Surf Shop and Under Armour across the way. There are many stores in that direction, but for just a moment, I'm gonna turn this way. We're gonna come back. We're coming, we're coming right back here. I'm gonna turn this way just for a moment so you can see what's in this direction. Uniqlo is this in Entire store to our right there. There is Under Armour over here. Lululemon is a store that's coming soon 
right over there you can hear there's a lot of music here it always sounds good over there and then there are restrooms in this direction next to Nahoku next to where Lululemon will be I think it's pronounced the Octane I believe that's how it is and then Fro Frontera Cocina right over there next to over here Edward Meneer the uh, fine eyewear right there across the way from Frontera Cocina you can find Pandora jewelry right there and then right before that bridge and the bridge leads us back to Raglan Road and Morimoto Asia see right there the bottling company sign that's Morimoto Asia right over here you've got sprinkles great cupcake store right here you can enjoy them inside you can enjoy them outside you can see them all or you can just walk up to the cupcake ATM I love this just kind of uh, get a cupcake on the go love it we're next to sprinkles right here you can see this is the bridge to walk toward Morimoto Asia and Raglan Road the waterway goes underneath see the waterway right there and right there it's a beautiful spot for photos we're not gonna go all the way over because we were over there already Jock Lindsay's hangar bar beyond it remember cooks of Dublin over there okay so here is that waterway absolutely beautiful and the outside seating area of sprinkles right there absolutely love it oh it's fantastic great great photo spot right over here now we're gonna make our way back the way we came that way and then we're gonna turn right so I'm gonna, we're gonna it's confusing I know but we'll get there. as we make our way back here's the Frontera Cocina window area you can actually get sangria and margaritas and beers and food items from the window area right there here's another look in front of Frontera Cocina we've turned right here we are and there's Kipling right over there next to it we've got Francesca's very very cool you can see it's apparel right there Alex and Ani right here it's hidden away hidden away a little bit and then beyond it you've got the Melissa store and there's a Disney Vacations Club store here as well kind of tucked in there let's take a look turning right here this is another look at the Welcome Center you can find some nice areas to sit down and relax there there is Zara right across the way from the Welcome Center I know we're, we're already getting turned around and here's anthropology right here see we're kind of in a central hub area of Disney Springs we're gonna get over there in just a moment but I want to turn right here just a second so I can show you the Welcome Center and what's just beyond it beyond the Welcome Center on my right you can find deluxe burger right over here really really good burgers right here you can actually see a little bit of a menu right up front delicious absolutely delicious indoor and outdoor seating here and if you turn in this direction you can actually walk out there sometimes not today as you can see but you can walk out there and they get you oriented that's Frontera Cocina and there is Morimoto to Asia and then this is that bridge that you can walk right down that way to get back to Alex and Ani a little bit of a circle here another look at deluxe burger right here turning in this direction you can see Zara right over there another store and another you know refreshment area right here there's the welcome center again Zara right here and this is Disney ticket right here and take a look at the ticket handles right here <laughs> it's actually a ticket Disney World ticket right there I love it just beyond it we've got the restrooms right over here and then blaze pizza we're gonna come back to blaze pizza I'm telling you in a minute that's a walkway to continue on we're actually gonna go back the way we came just a little bit but just know that there is a bridge in that direction as well we'll get back to it now we backtrack just a little bit there's the welcome center there's Zara right over here we're gonna turn around and here we are back at that hub area that I was telling you about and you may recall World of Disney is this direction but there's so many stores between here and there let's take a look we're gonna start there with the luxury of time Diamonds International right there it's by Diamonds International then you've got Lacoste right there I think that's how you pronounce that one Sephora over there a little refreshment cart here and anthropology right over there beyond Sephora right there you've got Shore right there and then across the way ever after jewelry company and accessories and then Uno de 50 right there beyond that I think this store is called Kiehl's right there and then beyond it you've got Toomey right there there's a Toomey store little fountain right here in the middle and as we turn around right here you've got Stance right there followed by super dry right in this direction see a lot of stores right here so we've made it all the way back to the Under Armour store right here the shops we just came down and then there's Ron John there right again so we're gonna continue on in this direction again we've made our way in that direction and this way let's keep going now during the holidays right by the Toomey store in this area right here you'll find the chandelier ears hanging up above so cool to see now we're back again by the luxury of time right there kind of an entryway for the bus area right there then there's coach store right there Mac origins and then there's Zara again right here and then this right here this is a lot of fun you can turn this wheel here and bring water up right there super super cool here's another look at Zara right there turning around I want to show you a little closer look at coach Mac and origins up here making our way past Zara here you can see we're coming to an area that's actually covered over and beautiful palm trees right here so on our left hand side we've got Kate Spade right there Johnny was over there as well and then we got two more stores on each side here on the left hand side here we've got a store called free purple the little area we were gonna walk under in a moment 
moment. And to our right, there's the Ugg store. Making our way under the 19 Market Bridge right now. Here we go. Now you can see where we just passed the Ugg store right there. It's actually got a spot inside too. Two entrances to the Ugg store here. Now let's go on both sides here and catch all the stores. Starting on the right hand side, we've got American Threads first right here. And then beyond it, we've got Lucky and Brand. Beyond Lucky Brand right here, we've got Johnson and Murphy. And then all the way at the end, right over there, that's Tommy Bahama right there. Now across the way from Ugg right here, we've got Lily, I think it's Perlighten, Perlightner right there, I think. And then we've got Sherry right here and then Vera Bradley. In the middle here, we've got some beautiful fountains and then let's go back to the left, right next to Vera Bradley here, we've got everything but water. Sugar Boo and Company, and at the end there, that's Columbia Sportswear Company. When you're inside this area right here, it is covered and it's super nice. Take a look up in the rafters right there. Take a look right there. You see, see the different characters you can see along the way? I don't want to reveal them all to you, but when you're in here, don't be afraid to look around. Here's another look at Tommy Bahama right there, the end of the right-hand side as we were making our way this way. Now, as we make our way out of the uh, overhang to my left over there, there's Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill, a restroom right in be between, and then the Coca-Cola store right there several levels of coca-cola store to our right next to planet hollywood we've got chicken guy we'll definitely be going back to all of these places very very soon no doubt about it beyond it you can find the entrance to planet hollywood right over there here's another look in the other direction chicken guy over there here's planet hollywood and the entrance to it and then we've got the amc theater right over there over in that direction it's orange garage but i can't show you any of the security areas we're gonna keep looking in this direction. Now the Coca-Cola's got a top level way up there, which is really nice to kind of see all of Disney Springs. Not open at the moment, but absolutely fantastic. Now, if you ever seen those background photos of movies before they come out, or maybe as they're coming out, you can find it here, right at the AMC Theater at Disney Springs. There's AMC. Here's the poster, super nice. Right next to the AMC, you've got a fountain right here. And we're actually gonna go in this direction just for a moment before we go that way. Here we are next to Planet Hollywood and the Stargazer Bar right over here. Now we're making our way towards this bridge, but before we go down the bridge, we're turning this way just for a moment. I know we're going back and forth, but I wanna make sure I show this to you. Here's the Yisake little uh, kiosk right here. You've got haagen right there. So if you're looking for haagen ice cream, you can find it at Disney Springs and Wetzel's Pretzels beyond it. So get you oriented, that's AMC. And we're gonna get in that direction in a moment. We're turning all the way back. Crossing this bridge right here, you can see the springs right underneath, a beautiful blue water. You gotta love it. The end of this bridge here has a little hideaway right there. That's actually the Mario Enzo's hideaway bar. Tunnel bar right that way. This is a little hideaway. Nobody really knows about that. Bridge over there for more of Disney Springs we'll get to. And then up here, here's the STK Steakhouse right there. Planet Hollywood right over there. There's a little Chapel Hats kiosk as well. So there's a second Chapel Hats right here. Good to see. Continuing to walk in this direction, we've got another kiosk, Just Fun Socks right over here and as we turn around right here you've got a bridge in that direction this is the bridge i was talking about earlier you can find the blaze pizza as we walk down there isn't that cool now here's the back side of stk we're gonna go up there in a minute we're, we're not there yet we're not there yet we're turning in this direction first so we can see just one or two more spots before we go up there this is homecoming homecoming's got a brand new outside seating area there is some areas out here but they've actually extended the outside seating area over there we'll be back here no doubt about it as we turn in this direction you can find more Morimoto Asia, right over there. This is, a, this is another one we're definitely gonna have to get back to. Beyond it, we're actually gonna continue in that direction. And instead of going straight or turning right, we're turning left so we can see more beyond it. So that we are going back to Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, past Morimoto Asia, but then we're gonna continue on and see more stores as we make our way to the other side of Disney Springs. You know, I didn't know that there was a separate lounge up there. It's the Forbidden Lounge. Oh my gosh, we gotta try the Forbidden Lounge. Oh, no doubt about it. There's another look at Morimoto Asia. We're back again, right over here, Raglan Road, one of our favorite statues, right over there, hey. And then we've got the uh, Wine Bar George, right over there across the way, Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. But don't forget, we're turning left this time. Wait a minute, there's a separate entrance for the Forbidden Lounge Sushi Bar? What? Okay, we gotta go back. We're, we're going back to more Mimosa Asia one day, no doubt. Just to make sure you're oriented, Boathouse right there. There's Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar with outside seating. We remember that way. Let's go this way. First one we come to is Paradiso 37. I have never been here. I, I'm gonna be coming back here, no doubt about it, very, very soon. We can see characters in flight right up there. As we turn in this direction to the left-hand side, we can see Oakley right here, the Savannah Bee Company right here, a lot of great honey, and the ganachery for chocolate right there. This is one I'm looking forward to getting back to in the future. I've heard the chocolate is fantastic here. Continuing on, Paradiso 37, right there, you remember that one? And then to our left, we've got the, I think it's called the Sank, Sank Store, I believe that's what it is. And then the Art of Shaving just beyond it. As we continue on here, you can see a different part of Disney Springs we haven't seen yet. To my left over here, you've got some restrooms, and to the right, you can find, this is actually the uh, Power, 
and light building of the Edison. The Edison is one we haven't tried yet in the future, and perhaps one day we will try it. Restrooms on my left right there. Here's STK. Some amazing steaks here, I've been told. We've got to try that one as well. To our right, we've got Marie and Enzo's right here. And then beyond it, we've got more of it. See the entrance right over there? Outside seating, more of it over here. Great pizza. Taking a look back just to get you oriented, there's the Edison right here, Marie and Enzo's, and then we've got this bridge that takes us back down to the other side of Disney Springs. Just wanna make sure, Planet Hollywood right over there so you get situated. Now this is a great view of the characters in Flight Balloon right there. You can actually get it right over there. You can uh, reserve a spot to go up in the balloon. We've done it before. It's definitely a great view of Disney Springs. Now as we make our way down the bridge right here, you can see Disney Styles, the first store we come to right there. To our left, there's the AMC Theater over there. There's a Disney Vacation Club kiosk right here, but I want to make sure you're situated. Orange Garage parking over there, AMC, then Disney stock. Here's characters in flight, and then you have Sunshine Churros kiosk right there. We're going to turn around. There's the Starbucks right here. Some performances sometimes from time to time right there, and more stores in that direction. Before we go that way, though, I'm going to turn this way and show you a little secret. Here's Starbucks coffee, and then you've got characters in flight balloon right up here. To your left-hand side, there's kind of like a hidden walkway back here. If you're looking for like a quiet spot to enjoy your coffee over here, this is a great spot. Right down here, just like, kind of take this walkway down. Boat dock at the end over there. Ah, it's magical. We're gonna go that back that way again, but I wanted to show it to you. Here's Disney style to my left right here, and then we're gonna keep walking down this way. You can see more of Disney Springs. There's Starbucks coffee. Let's just keep going down right here. Beyond Disney style, we've got the Star Wars Galactic Outpost right here. A lot of great Star Wars goodies in there. Gotta enjoy it. Next to the Starbucks for reference, there's the restroom. Men on this side, women on the other side over there. And you've got some uh, really nice food food cars, food cars. <laughs> you got food trucks right there. Before we get to the food trucks, there's the Marvel Superhero Headquarters and Candy Cauldron just beyond it right there. Now in that direction over there, there was that walkway I was just telling you about. You could actually make it down there from uh, from over here. Food trucks right here. There are three of them here and some more of those uh, kiosks for refreshments, Disney refreshments right here as well. There's one here at the moment, another one there. In front of this one, you can find a souvenir ID tag right there. We can get all your information printed on the tag. Now beyond the Candy Cauldron right there, we've got Sunglasses Inc. right there. See that? Sunglasses right Right there. As we make our way, you can see Pele Soccer right over here. And then there's actually some construction going on over here. Take a look. Beatrix will be here before you know, but I want to give you a little update before it's done. Beyond Pele Soccer right here, you can see Sosa Family Cigar Company. Interesting. Almost complete at this point. Right beyond it, you've got Ample Hills Creamery, a fantastic ice cream shop coming to Disney Springs. Love to see it. You can see this area is all under construction right here. And then there's the other side of the AMC Theater. To get situated here, there's Ample Hills. Here's where Beatrix will be. And then beyond it is, I think it's pronounced Alo, right there by Jose Andreas. It's right there. Very, very cool restaurant. We got to go in there in the future. Here's the other side of the AMC Theater here. And then right next to it, we've got the Pop Gallery right over there. Here's Splitsville. Love Luxury lanes right here, amazing sushi right out here. You can actually just eat sushi right here. You don't have to go bowling. You can eat sushi out here. It's fantastic. We'll go bowling there in the future. But we're making our way towards the end of Disney Springs here. I always like that bowling pin, like uh, chandelier right there, super nice. And here's the M&M store that's coming soon. A lot of construction. You can see an update from the last time. A lot of construction here. M&M store that will be coming soon. To our left-hand side, there's the MBA Experience. We had the opportunity to go in there not too long ago. And then to our right, here's House of Blues. MBA store on the left right here, and then the actual experience on the right over there. There's the House of Blues Club right over there. Here's the takeout spot for it. And then to the left, here's City Works. I love the dining here. And then look, the outside seating area. Look at this. All getting ready for us to come back really, really soon. Now beyond it, you can find the House of Blues right over here. And then right over there, there's Cirque du Soleil right there. And then to our right, that's actually just the boat dock over there. Take you to the other side of Disney Springs. And just like that, we've made it through all of Disney Springs. We've taken the entire tour, believe it or not. Hard to imagine. There are so many smaller places to experience here at Disney Springs. You, you feel like you need a lot of time here just because there's so many fun things to see and do. I sure hope you enjoyed today's tour of Disney Springs to find our happily ever after. You gotta love it. It's always changing, always adapting, always magical. Well, let me know in the comments below what your favorite store here is at Disney Springs. Whatever it is, let me know your favorite. My favorite, it's tough to say at the moment, but I'm going to say it's World of Disney. I just like walking in there, shopping a little bit. It's a lot of fun. If I had to pick a restaurant right now, it actually might be Splitsville. I know restaurant Splitsville, but the sushi is so good. Let me know yours in the comments below. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. Until next time, have a magical day.